Welcome to Vision Forward's Tech Connect Live, connecting you to the world of assistive technology. And now, here are your hosts, Corey and Luke. Deep breath. Hello, and we come to you with very, very sad breaking news. We have just heard that OJ Simpson has passed away. Corey, memories of OJ Simpson. Um, not, not good memories. <laughs> okay. Although I did say that prior to his uh, well, I guess, as you said, he mm. was he was acquitted. Mm -hmm. uh, but I did enjoy him in, in the Naked Gun movie, so I guess we won't see a Naked Gun four and a quarter. Mm. Uh, I feel that like was how they you know they did two and a half. Three yes, and a I third. remember. Yeah, okay. I feel like uh, that that uh, ship has sailed. Anyway, is Leslie Nielsen still alive? Oh, that's a great question. Mm. I think he is, isn't he? Is he? I don't know. If anybody, if Leslie Nielsen is in the chat, please let us know that you're still alive. <laughs> that would be great. He might. He's old enough. He's probably got vision loss. <laughs> he probably There's does. A good chance he's if probably. you're not in the chat, Leslie, you should be. So if somebody could send this on to Leslie, that would be great. Uh, Jonathan, yes, please. I have sad news. He is not alive anymore. No. He also died today. What a coincidence. No. <laughs> oh, not today. It's it's okay. about the same guy. Uh, he died in 2010. Leslie, oh. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Mm. I don't awesome. know. I, I'm, yeah, I'm, there's not too many Leslie Nielsens, I don't think, so oh, it's probably the same. If, um, if there are any movie producers watching, Corey is ready to take on the role of, uh, what was the, what was the Frank Leslie Nielsen? Frank Drummond. Thank you, Frank Drummond, yes. yes. Uh, Corey's ready, and I will take on the role of, of uh, O.J. Simpson. Lisa Marie Presley? <laughs> no, oh, no, that okay. would be weird. Okay. Um, well, O.J. Simpson wouldn't be weird. <laughs> 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 I'm not ready to. Uh, I am not ready to put on um, the clothing items gotcha. which uh, okay. she, which she wears in, in one of the films. So, all right. Uh, yes, but anyway, welcome to the show. It is a Vision Forward Tech Connect, and uh, we are all about talking about assistive technology. And what could be more assistive than uh, a wearable headset? that's not designed for people with vision loss, Corey? <laughs> that's my question well, to you. Well, I guess you could say that uh, cell phones, smartphones are also not designed for people oh, with vision loss. Okay. Yet. Okay, yet, yeah. They, were, they revolutionized mm. the way that we access information. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you do make a good point there because mainstream technology in many ways is uh, accessible technology these days. It sure is. Mm. And uh, Apple have always been good with their technology. Well, I say always. That's probably not true, but they for uh, for a while now they've been pretty good. Corey, uh, the voiceover screen reader was first implemented into which iPhone? That would be the 3GS, mm. sir. And which uh, now, Corey? Tell me about the iPhone two. There was a mm, chunk. It okay. went from the iPhone okay. one to the iPhone 3G. Mm. It's kind of like how because they weren't numbering them. 3G is because they added 3G uh, data connectivity. Now, what happened to the Xbox two? Oh, that I don't know. Mm. That never existed one. either. Okay. They went from the Xbox to the Xbox 360. And then to the 
to the back to the Xbox One. And then we went on to the Xbox One. Yeah, it got very confusing. Now, you may have just heard people uh, watching can only see, uh, if they can see, they can only see myself and Corey at the moment. You may have just heard a ghostly voice emanating from the ether. So at this point, I think we should introduce our ghostly voice. Is. Is. <laughs> there we yeah. go. Yeah. And uh, here we have one uh, Sir Samuel CV the fourth. Yes, Fourth. thank you, yes. thank you, thank you. That's and fine. we have Carrie Morales, the... What number, Carrie? What number, Carrie Morales, are you? Uh, the second. The second, okay. Hey. Uh, I am uh, Luke Scriven, as far as I know, the first. And Corey... I am the first as well. The first. The first of our kind. That's uh, okay. We are new yeah. and fresh. We are, yeah, we do not have a lineage behind Unlike us. Unlike the Xbox One. Yeah, so after you, so you will have your, your next son will be Corey Ballard 360? Yes. <laughs> okay. Except I guarantee there will never be another son. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> never say never, Corey. You know, the world is a strange well, place. Well, so then there's going to be some lawsuits happening, so. <laughs> okay, wow. <laughs> oh, okay. You need to get the same uh, lawyer that O.J. Simpson had, I would suggest. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right, well, uh, welcome to the show, <laughs> Sam and Carrie. Uh, up the top here, uh, I think it would be great if you to introduce yourself, although I'm sure you need no introduction, especially because you've both been on the show before. But to just in case uh, people aren't aware, Sam, would you like to take it away? I'm just like, what is going on with this show? What a, what a, <laughs> what a way to introduce the show, start the show. Sam, this isn't your first time. When have we ever made sense or yeah, been all like guys, any? So. Yeah, I mean. It's just... Like we're we're supposed to be over here, and you guys are playing in the field over there. So yeah. like, hey, look, we focus here, people. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. Um, thank you, thank you, guys. My name is Sam. Uh, if anybody is not aware, I have a YouTube channel called The Blind Life, mm -hmm. where I uh, share my life living with vision loss and talk about all things assistive technology and all things amazing blind related. Awesome. Yes, and yourself, Carrie. Hey, everybody. I love the chaotic energy. I, I love it. I thrive <laughs> off of it. <laughs> but I'm Carrie Morales, and my YouTube channel is called Carry on Accessibility. Yes, pun intended. And I talk about tech and accessibility and just life as a blind, visually impaired uh, person. Indeed, and I would like to say that you both do a fantastic job. Yeah. And uh, yeah, people, if you haven't checked out those channels, which I'm sure everybody probably has, but if not, definitely go check them out right now. Just leave this show and uh, just go check out <laughs> those channels. You'll probably have a better time. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, now, the reason that we invited you both on the show is because Corey broke a promise. Corey, would you like to expand on the promise? Yeah, I did that you break broke. a promise, but yeah. it was more out of frustration and annoyance. Okay. So I did say we would get a, a Apple Vision Pro live on the show uh, more than once, show, and we yeah. still will get one. Really? Okay. The problem is, I went when I went to go purchase one online. Um, I was not aware of the whole measuring your head system, mm. and so we sort of went through that process, and then found out, okay, long story short, we have a business account through Apple, but at the time you couldn't purchase Apple Vision Pros through business account, you could only order them through their retail side, which we didn't have a, an account because we're tax exempt and blah, 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 blah. So anyways, and then we saw <laughs> that Sam and Carrie got them and then we just mm -hmm. said, forget it at this, <laughs> <laughs> at this point. So yes, I did break a promise, but it yes. was mostly out of uh, annoyance and inconvenience. I have a feeling that what truly happened here is you went to do the head measurement <laughs> and you realized that there was no device which would actually yeah. practically fit on your head. They said, please <laughs> use an iPad Pro 12 point whatever inch to measure your monstrous head, <laughs> sir. And they said, sorry, nobody has designed a device that, yeah. that will work for you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, <laughs> uh, well, luckily though, Sam and Carrie are both experienced Apple Vision Pro users and both have uh, great videos on at the Apple Vision Pro. So so again, you should leave this show right now and go and check out those videos. But if you are still with us, then that's also good because they're going to tell us about their experiences with the device. Now, uh, Corey has a question for both of you at the top here. Corey. Do I? Well, yeah. I, have, <laughs> okay. I, have, I have like 15 <laughs> questions. Did I have... There was one well, question was... Which, uh, which I thought would be worth asking up top here. The question is... Oh, who? OK, go ahead. Yes. Okay. Do you both still have the device yes, or did that's... you return it? 
That actually, I returned mine. I was going to say, okay. this, okay. this, okay. Might, this oh, yeah. might actually... Yeah, return. Okay, two returns. Okay. So I was just going to say, the, the, that might have just ended the video. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned to find out why yeah, well, they no, exactly. it, though. I do honestly think that that is an interesting did, uh, question. Did, did either of you, for clarification on that, because I, I, did either of you have... If it blew you out of the water and you loved it, w was there ever plans to keep it, or or did you go into it knowing thirty five hundred bucks was was not an investment you were ready to make today, no matter how good it was, and you were just getting it to test out and sort of put on the channel? Carrie, uh, I would have definitely considered it if. It was worth it, okay. And good. if it worked well for me. Now, uh, Carrie, just to just to drill down on that, would you, for you, would it have been a worthwhile investment? Like, what would have made it a worthwhile investment for you? Ooh, um, <laughs> number one, definitely lighter. Number two, mm. definitely uh, more comfortable. Those were mm. my interesting. Actually, uh, two biggest reasons why it was hard for me to even try to use it and make videos on it honestly, oh really because wow. it was really uncomfortable for me huh. and yes i did the whole head measuring thing <laughs> and uh, <laughs> which wasn't fun uh first at least on the, the iphone that i had it wasn't reading back to me like you know how when you set up face id it mm -hmm. tells you how to move this one didn't tell me so Ooh. i was like oh which way do i move oh that's which weird. way do i move my head so that was fun um so maybe that threw it off, but, uh, and then, you know, the number one thing is I can't zoom into my environment. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. that's really disappointing. And you can't use accessibility apps, like yes. the ones that we're familiar with. So. Yeah. And, and Sam, I'm guessing maybe it's a similar situation with you because it doesn't like support, it doesn't have like the zoom feature and it doesn't, you know, support those apps that you might want it to. Is that, is that true of you also? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it was. I, I seriously considered it because mm -hmm. I could use it enough. Now, I, don't, I didn't have any problems with – it did fit my big head, Corey, so I'm sure it would have fit <laughs> yours as well. Um, and I think because we do have such huge melons, we have the benefit of very strong necks. <laughs> so the, the weight and all that didn't bother me, actually. And, and it, it was comfortable enough that I, I seriously considered it. Like, you, you get a 14-day – trial with it or money back guarantee and, mm -hmm. and on that 13th day i was like ah oh, do i keep it do i take it back because for me and, and i'm sure carrie could could relate to this you know the future potential yes. is is there yeah. and yeah. i thought well do i just keep it because i will be able to make videos in the future with it and i'll, I'll it, it would continue to give me content by talking about updates and future you know you know what is working on yeah. it now and that sort of thing but at the same same time, for me it was four thousand because they didn't have the lower storage uh, model oh, in geez. stock, so okay, I had so. to get the higher storage one. Right. And so, yeah, it, definitely getting that money back was more important than <laughs> the future <laughs> stuff. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's a lot of money for a, a device when you know there's already uh, some good wearable devices out on the market that might be geared more toward <clears throat> vision impairment. I, I feel yeah. like this Apple Vision Pro, this version reminds me a lot of the app uh, of the iPhone. 10 or X, whatever you want to call it, mm. where it was sort of like thrown out there as, hey, this is the most expensive thing we can build. Right, and right. if you're a developer or you're just someone who wants to buy it, great. But we don't really consider this like a mainstream version of the device, which I find funny now because all the iPhones now cost whatever the, oh, the right, iPhone yeah, 10 yeah, did back yeah, then. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> but I do. I wouldn't be shocked if we don't see a less expensive version coming out. Maybe more plastic. Yeah. And, you know things it's like that. It's already in the rumors right now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this one's the yeah. Apple Vision Pro, mm. and there might be an Apple Vision Air or what. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. 1, yeah. Yeah. But that's a rumor. Yeah. 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 Or yeah. SE. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So I, I feel like you know. I think it's important for people like yourselves to get it early and do some of the testing and provide some of that feedback. But long term, I could see, you know, I, and I think that's probably one of our big conversations as we continue talking today is what, what do we see 
d down the line, right? I think mm -hmm. if you look at the the first iPhone, nobody would ever guess what it's doing today. That's true. You know, yeah. mm -hmm. back in two thousand five or six or whenever it came out. Mm. So it, it'll be that'll be an interesting discussion to get into a bit later. Is what, where do we see it going? What do we want to see? My main question at the moment is why on earth? And I would love to hear speculations on this. Why on earth is there no magnifier app? I mean, it seems like uh, <laughs> it seems like a home yeah. run to stick the magnifier app in there. Any speculations on to why that might be? No, I mean, I yes, that was the number one question. I think Carrie can can relate or mm -hmm. can agree mm -hmm. that number one question everybody has is, <clears throat> will there be some way to magnify or to zoom in, whether that dedicated app or through the pass through? And it was very surprising immediately when I saw that there was nothing. There was nothing right. there. And when the magnifier is a stock app that comes on every device, why was it not on this? Yeah. Um, yeah. And I don't know. I don't know. I mean, the, you can you can argue why the accessibility things aren't there because they haven't opened up the camera API to developers yet. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So it works, but the cameras aspect of the app doesn't work. Mm -hmm. But like I said, it's a stock you, app. Why was it not there? Yeah. Do you it think there is? Do you think there is a safety? legal side to this right let's mm. say you are somebody Probably. Now, now we all know in the low vision well i shouldn't say that that, that is mm. making an assumption I, I, we as trainers and and users of the technology in this in this setting we know that with traditional low vision wearables you mm. don't walk around with it wait, while so, while magnified wait what <laughs> exactly i've been telling but all my clients to walk to around with this and, <laughs> and drive I'm right driving, yeah. <laughs> but I'm, I'm curious you know thinking of this as a bigger mainstream product i wonder if there is something there about okay if we're if we're introducing this to a large group of people who aren't familiar with wearables are are we setting ourselves up for them to be walking even dr don't tell me there isn't going to be somebody who's going to try to drive while yeah. wearing magnified, like yeah. that. So I, I wonder if there's a piece. But how do these there. low vision companies deal with that? You know, because well, they're in I the same boat. Well, I think it's because with the with the low vision wearable, there is it's just so specific. It's to specific. That. It's 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 um, the 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 documentation, the the, the advertising, the the training that they initially go mm. through goes through all that versus. Anyone just walking into an Apple store and buying. The I think Apple you could literally Pro, right? have a disclaimer screen when you're setting it up, though, that says this is not to be worn while walking around or driving. You yeah. know, that's probably all you need. Right? Yeah, and actually, I suppose with with those devices too, you probably could even, with all of the um, gyroscopes and everything on them, you could probably even tell if somebody is driving probably. or walking with it yep. over their eyes and, and then yeah. have it disabled. And then but Tim Cook appears that, and says, naughty, naughty. He <laughs> <laughs> wags his finger at you. No, exactly. no, no. But that, uh, go, go ahead, Karen. Yeah. No, hopefully not, because, you know, if you want to use it in the car and you're just sitting there. That's right, a fair point. Yeah, that's a fair point. Yeah. That well, it could point. see that the steering wheel's not in front that of you, is so also it knows fair. you're in the path. So basically, <laughs> Apple is streaming all the video <laughs> to their headquarters. Yeah. Okay, this is getting creepy. But I think it's partially that, maybe, and it's probably, again, this is Gen 1, you know, maybe not everything from an accessibility standpoint has been, uh, you know, pushed over. I got mm. to assume... The, I mean, the cameras are obviously good enough. But to, that's to my do question: it, so. is are they though? This is my this is my question because uh, okay. So number one, from your experience, you two, uh, the pass through is good, right? The frame rate is good. The image is good. Yeah. yeah. Sam's okay. All right, yeah. Sam, give, give us I, I, I'm curious. Yeah, I'm curious if if Carrie can can kind of elaborate on this too. But I found it really dark. Hmm. Um, and. Hmm just kind of hard to see through. Now, as I said in my video, I do have a slight stigmatism and maybe that was coming into play a little bit, mm -hmm. but just in my everyday life here, you know, with good lighting, it's not dark and everything, even though I can't see the detail of things, it doesn't look fuzzy to me, but it did through the, the headset. Mm, interesting. Carrie, so any thoughts on that? For me, um, it was darker than, uh, you know, real life mm -hmm. especially when you looked at lights directly it would mm. fuzz it out and mm, darken sure. it mm -hmm. um and i think part of it being kind of fuzzy is um it has it has trouble even if you turn on um the what is it called the pointer control mm. so yeah. that it's controlled by your head um 
it still tracks your eyes. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. with me, at least, with my uh, nystagmus, uh, yeah. mm -hmm. um, it, would, it, it has this thing where it'll only be clear where you're looking at. Oh, and sure. since yeah. my eyes are kind of like moving all over the place, mm. like parts would always be fuzzy. Yeah. And yeah. I would still see that. Yeah. yeah. I, that was my problem as well because I, I don't have central. I only have peripheral. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when when in the image, the peripheral is fuzzy, that's yes. what I'm seeing. So yes. you yes. have yes. to have a yes. way to yeah. turn that off completely. And yes. maybe, please. <laughs> you know, it might, I understand it might sacrifice some processing and all of that, but let's turn it off. Yeah. Well, I would like it to uh, lower the resolution. I don't even mind because I won't be able to see the high, so, high, so. high resolution. So <laughs> right. if we can even it out and make it lower, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. I think Apple... And I, I mean, I'm not, I wasn't in any of the board meetings. You were No, I know you think that. But, um, <laughs> missed, missed the memo. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I have a feeling that this device, this Gen 1 device, focused on more virtual reality. So, so don't bringing say that to Apple, Corey. No, I know. They don't like that computing. Yeah, yeah. But they Spatial focused computer. more on, <laughs> on bringing things into in front of you versus augmentative reality where you're seeing around you. Does that make sense? Like, like they focused on using it as a, a second monitor, or as a monitor for your computer. That is augmented way, reality, though. It, it's yeah, not, though, because it. you're not looking okay. at your... Augmentative reality is you looking at your computer screen. I mean, it, it, it virtual reality, it brought in the, the signal into the, cam, into the screen. The, the augmented so, part is you're still seeing the real world, but you're overlaying things on top of correct, it. And that's but, what they were doing with... Uh, when you look at the laptop screen, you get a virtual laptop screen. But it doesn't fill your whole field but it's of view, not, though. But it's not... You're not seeing the actual laptop screen. It's feeding the video into your camera. Do you get what I'm saying? I think we like need, in, the, in my, the chat, we need people to say it, whether they think I, that's If I waved my hand in front virtual. of your monitor, it mm -hmm. wouldn't show up on your Apple Vision Pro. It would if it, you were looking at your monitor. I don't think it would, because you're not yeah, seeing. Well, you, still, you can still see your laptop, but you've just got a virtual screen well, as well. Anyways, my point <laughs> is, my point is, is that I think they focused on bringing things into the this camera, uh, into the screens, versus you looking out into your world. Mm. And I think the future, though, is that is to tackle that piece of it so that you look out in your, your world, you see somebody walking up, their name pops up if it recognizes them, tells you the last time you saw them. Like that, that would be sweet. I think once that is their focus, mm. then I think you're going to get the video magnif you're uh, getting the magnification. Jonathan off. just gave me a thumbs up. Jonathan? Yeah, uh, just getting us... Uh, Caught up to speed in the chat. Okay. Uh, we have several people uh, saying hello to our guests. Hello. Uh, oh, not to us. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Howdy. Also, also to us. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, like Alicia Green is saying hello uh, from Rockford, Illinois. Hello Rockford, Paul. excellent. Yes. Yep. Uh, and then we have Toff Bay Fong. Uh, again. Okay. Excellent. Um, awesome. Yes. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, Spencer Peterson. Um, they are actually. Uh, they've got a question for Sam. Okay. Um, Besides additional YouTube content, uh, what have you actually used it for? Mm. Uh, and in your daily life, is there anything in particular it's really good at? Yeah, I think uh, both Sam and Carrie, I would be interested to hear your thoughts on, on that question. Talking about the, the, the Vision Pro, what did we use mm -hmm. it for? Yeah. Um, literally, I didn't use it for anything other than getting content for the video. Mm, okay. Um, but I, but I, in doing that, of course, I, I tried, to, tried it out in a bunch of different situations. Yeah. Um, the and like I said, it, like I said in the video, the really the only thing that was super beneficial for me was doing the virtual uh, computer screen. Mm. Uh, unfortunately, it's only a Mac, you know, but it was really <laughs> oh, cool. Shots fired. Be... <laughs> <Shots> fired. <laughs> no, I primarily, no, it's no surprise. I'm primarily yeah. a Windows guy, sure, but sure. Um, uh, for now. For now, oh. for now. Um, I have a, but be, being able to make that big, like seventy-five inch screen sure, that I could, yeah. I could bring right up to my face was mm -hmm. was amazing. Yeah, yeah. Carrie, how about you? Uh, did you find any tasks that you thought the Vision Pro would be better for than technology that you already own? Uh, no. Okay. I tried. <laughs> right. no, I, no. I tried. I really did, and you know, I, I did like to make my screen really big, but there's a limit, uh, and it's just one of those random limits that 
Apple gives, it's like, we're just going to let you do it this big and that's it. You can't do it for, I, I don't know, we have like all of space around us, but mm -hmm. that's as big as you can do it. Um, and the thing is that it was still far for me. Like, I'm really, really near. So I have to look at things close, even if it's big. Mm. And um, every time I would like try to get it closer, there's a limit on that. Interesting. Uh, and then if I move my body closer to it, then it starts fading away, right, which right, was right. really frustrating. Yeah, Because sure. I was like, yeah. well, let me look at that closer. Yeah, and then it's yeah. like, boom, it's gone. And also, um, I, would, I would assume that if you, if you need to get really close to screens, then having a really large screen isn't necessarily beneficial, because if you get really close to a large screen, you're only seeing a tiny bit of you know, the screen. You know what I'm yes, saying? Yes, and that's yeah. the same with magnification. Mm -hmm. And while um, I could use magnification, my problem was that uh, it's kind of like how I don't actually like like bigger TVs mm -hmm. because I have to like move all the way to the left yeah, and then exactly. move all yeah. the way to the right. Yeah, and then yeah. so I found myself using Zoom mm -hmm. and I was like moving my head all over the place. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, wow, my neck is tired. <laughs> oh God, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> and also like when I was using voiceover too, it, w it was just, I, it was so much faster on the phone. It's like really? yeah, yep. so much okay. faster on the phone than uh, on the Vision Pro. Like I didn't find anything um, on the Vision Pro more efficient. Hmm. So talking about voiceover and, and maybe a bit with Zoom too, obviously they in, with Apple Vision Pro, they've introduced a new uh, gesture-based system mm. for controlling it with the finger taps and things. How Now I know you mentioned you know things are faster on the phone, but how were these new gestures, bringing your pointer to your thumb, your, your ring to your thumb, how accurate and how easy were they to do uh, did, the, did the Apple Vision Pro pick up on it each and every time? You go first, Sam. Uh, no, no. I mean, <laughs> so it's it's not hard to kind of pick up and, and get familiar with, uh, but it's just, it's kind of awkward in some situations because you have to hold your hand in this C shape, like, like they kept telling you, pretend like you're holding a cup. Mm -hmm. And then you have to hold it out in front of you where those downward facing cameras can see it. Mm -hmm. So you're just holding your hand like this the whole time out in front of you and it's you know you can't rest it you can you can maybe put it on a, a chair arm and just kind of rest your arm but you still have to keep your hand in this lobster claw shape and um and i will say that when it's working you can get pretty quick you know clicking through with the index to the thumb gesture um but anytime you move your hand in any gesture while you're talking or anything like that mm -hmm. voiceover is mm -hmm. just going crazy it's just yeah. it's just because it so thinks true. you're trying to control it yeah um. and it's so much so that it's like oh my gosh siri turn off voiceover just so i can actually relax and move my hands so what normally. you're saying is if you're an italian voiceover user do not get the vision pro because <laughs> italians do have a tendency to uh, <laughs> do a lot of uh, gesticulating yes 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 yes, yes. yes. Okay. i didn't think of that but that yeah that's a, a great point it is a great point you are with a with a touch screen, you, you you know if you do a gesture, it's usually pretty prescribed. You're go, you're mm. touching the screen. Obviously, there's accidental, but yeah. with this, you're right. Just any movement can be like, oh, are you trying off. to are yeah. you trying to swipe or are you trying to I go? Mean, away? Yeah, 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 yeah. I would just try to pick up my phone next to me mm -hmm. and it would start like doing all sorts of things. <laughs> Copied to clipboard. I'm like, what oh my gosh. I'm trying to drink uh, from my water bottle. And then it's like, oh, what are you doing? You want to go to this place? No, no I don't. I imagine uh, keeping your hand in a C shape, it must, okay, does it get crampy after a while? I mean, it seems like a unnatural to kind of keep your hand in that shape all the time, you know? Yeah, it's not yeah. great. Yeah, no, yeah, it's yeah. not great. Sometimes yeah. you can get away with like having it um, just open. Okay. So, you know, certain positions you can get away with certain things, yeah. um, but no. So the, and then and sometimes I, it would also um, not get the right finger. If you're oh, not turned enough, like yeah, if your hand yeah. is not in the right position, it mm -hmm. won't get the right finger. Mm. Let me just uh, let me just take a pause here because I think Jonathan may have something from the chat. Jonathan, did you have something? Uh, yes, okay. uh, just to bring us back up to speed, mm. um, and we have one more question. Okay. Uh, so uh, Willie Rosado, mm -hmm. uh, Esmeralda or Jay Esmeralda, mm -hmm. and uh, Barbell, okay. uh, they're all in the chat. Okay. Uh, with Hello. Their own uh, well wishes for oh, us excellent. and our guests. Well wishes for you too, hey, everybody. Um, but uh, this is specifically uh, in reference to the gestures mm. uh, uh, topic. So uh, Willie was talking about how it's been pretty bad. Like they they mm. feel like they need to use computers over tablets and phones just because 
the gestures, they all want them to do different gestures to actually get the functionality they want, but it's difficult for whatever reason. It's not, it's, you know, not picking it up. So it's, they're using the Vision little, Pro, but they're having trouble doing the gestures correctly. Or, is that the general idea? Not specifically Vision Pro. Oh, they're talking about phones and uh, yes. tablets. Oh, okay, you know, okay. They're okay. sort of suspicious of that being one of the uh, load-bearing elements of controlling the device. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, And it sounds like that is from what you two are saying. It sounds like those uh, having to do those specific gestures with the Vision Pro is uh, is tricky. I mean, because one of the hopes might be maybe because people do struggle with the smartphone, don't they, Corey, sometimes? And so, you know, maybe with the Vision Pro it's easier, but it sounds like yeah. it's, maybe it's not easier. And that was my larger mm -hmm. question is not knowing. So obviously voiceover is going to require a lot of gestures, mm -hmm. both on, a, uh, on an iPhone or with the Apple Vision Pro. Mm -hmm. From a sighted perspective with the Apple Vision Pro, are people also complaining about having to use, you know, are, they, are they needing to use their hands as much as you would with voiceover? And if, if maybe if not, but is it still a complaint that having your hand out in space and doing stuff has just become a, I wonder if that's an issue as well. No, and I, this, this is really where it's, it's pretty disappointing is that Whenever I would turn off voiceover, the thing works so much better. I mean, just mm -hmm. you're able to grab windows and soup, move them around. Mm -hmm. Moving a window with voiceover on is a nightmare. Uh, <laughs> ends up on um, the floor. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. I dropped but, my and window. It, <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, have you seen my window? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and then, and then the, the, just the general gesticulation with your hands doesn't do anything. I mean, mm. it's just so much more intuitive without voice voiceover on. Yes. Everything just works it, better. That's a shame. If you look through the voiceover gestures, uh, and I, I went through each and every one, uh, which was, it, it's absolutely insane, like how mm. many gestures there actually I, are mm -hmm. available there really for you was to a lot of them. customize. Mm -hmm. uh, you, they don't, uh, by default, a lot of them don't do anything. Mm -hmm. um, and the the problem for me, too, was the two-handed gestures. That was got annoying because I'm like, when you don't Jeez. have voiceover on, there's literally you just use your pointer and thumb for mm. most things. Yeah, you sure. move it yeah. up, you scroll it down, you pinch it, mm -hmm. and that's it. Mm -hmm. With voiceover, you're literally using <laughs> all of your fingers with your thumb. Jeez. And then, um, well, except the pinky. Wait, I can't remember. Was there a pinky one? It's got to be a pinky one. You'd have ones in combination with your left hand mm -hmm. and you'd hold that down and then you'd do a pinch with your right yeah. hand or vice versa. And I'm just, yeah. it was so much you, cognitive. You may as well just like, be a plain piano so at that point. Here's, you know? a, here's, yeah. a, um, here's a question that maybe is a controversial question. Ooh, I like it. Get is, ready, everybody. Uh, is Does it the, have to do with pinkies? Yeah. <laughs> should, should, should Apple have A, left voiceover off of the Apple Vision Pro, mm. or B, yeah. did they implement it in a bad way? Mm. Like, is there a better way they could have done it, or is Apple Vision? They could Vision, have put a touch, uh, I mean, a touch pad on the side. There are going, there always are going to be certain, pro in my opinion, there are going to be certain products in this world that aren't going to be accessible to somebody who's blind or visually impaired because of whatever, just for whatever reason, not because we yeah. can't, but accessibility, because, but more because it just doesn't make sense mm -hmm. to do it. Mm -hmm. Is Apple Vision Pro an example of that kind of product, or did they just implement accessibility poorly? Mm -hmm. Gary, what do you think? <laughs> Sam, <laughs> Sam's very easy. He's like, oh, well, I'll let you go first. <laughs> they definitely should have added voiceover. So um, whether, however well or not well it does, it voiceover needs to be there. Okay. And, and especially as uh, somebody who uses both Zoom and screen reader, mm -hmm. like it, it did help me sometimes because sometimes mm -hmm. um, there were smaller areas that would just, not Zoom, especially in Safari. Mm -hmm. um, and so I would use voiceover and sometimes mm. it was just easier to read that way. Yeah. Um, and I don't know how they could have made it better, but I just don't necessarily think this product was co-designed with anybody who, who was blind or low vision, sure. you know? Mm -hmm. And I think that, I, I don't know the answer. Maybe Sam knows the answer. Um, of how they could have done it better. Um, and maybe the technology is just still needs to evolve so that it knows when you're just gesturing with your sure. hands yeah. or mm -hmm. trying to talk to it. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm same thing. I, I 
absolutely think they they need voiceover in there. Mm -hmm. um, so I, this kind of comes up all, quite often. Um, people think just because I, I know what doesn't work, they think I automatically know what will work. Yeah. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> I, I, I know that it does not work yeah. very well, but I have no idea how let, they would. Sure. Let me spitball here. Yeah. Let me, let me yeah. throw out an yeah. idea. Let me throw out an idea. OK. You, uh, the phone connect your your iPhone connects to your uh, Apple Vision Pro over okay. Bluetooth, okay. and then you can swipe on the iPhone to control voiceover on the headset. Well, then why wouldn't you why? just use your phone? Because yeah, exactly. because it's the future, man. <laughs> the future is to have two devices <laughs> exactly to do it. One nailed it. I mean, I think. I you think have, oh, go ahead, Sam. I was just gonna say, I think they should definitely have that as an option, but I don't think that should be the, the only thing. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, what if you don't yeah. have a phone, yeah. you don't yeah. have yeah. it with you? I, you yeah. But yeah, I mean, I I agree 100% that that it, it, that they should have had voiceover. I wonder if this is just a perfect example of hey, this device is accessible, awesome, but there's just really no use case for us as people who are. Totally. Blind. I wanted to ask today, you that. I today. wanted to ask you that because uh, obviously Sam and Carrie, you, you both can take advantage of some of the magnification aspects as well. Uh, but for yourself, Corey, yeah. then it would be purely a voiceover experience. And so I was trying to it, think: is there anything? Is there, there any reason why you might want to use the, the only headset like that? If today? Because a lot like what Sam said. Just I know what doesn't work, but sometimes I don't know what is great until someone else shows yeah, me that sure, it's sure, great. Sure, sure. But yeah. Today, the, the, the really the only thing I could, and I shouldn't even say today because I don't think it can be used this way, but the biggest use case that I could see the Apple Vision Pro serving is hands-free video, uh, hands-free camera for, for like Be My Eyes, mm. uh, Ira, things like that. Sure. Mm. Now, the, the question, the, the, the reality though is, I sure don't need a $3,500 device to yeah. do that. There are much cheaper ways mm -hmm. to do that. Yeah. But in most cases, I cannot see, I can't see uh, something that the Apple Vision Pro is going to provide that my phone yeah. couldn't, even yeah. holding my phone yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. not hands free, but I could mount it. I could use Tape the slinger, head. baby. Use a slinger. We've got a video uh, coming up on the slinger. Uh, but, mm. oh. <laughs> but anyway, I mean, there are much <laughs> less expensive ways of getting hands free with your phone. So. I, to be honest, now I haven't used it either, so I have to mm. put that caveat. But I, mm. I just don't see, today I don't see a purpose for a totally blind user. I don't know what you'd get from it that your phone wouldn't already provide you. So, Sam, I believe uh, from what I remember, uh, you launched, was it Seeing AI that you launched? And it launched fine, but it couldn't use the camera? Is that is that? There was an app. No, it was uh, it was be my eyes. Be my eyes. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. So yep. so yeah. like and you said, like I mean, you can launch it, but the API hasn't been released, so then mm -hmm. they can't actually use the camera. But I mean, that would yeah. be a good use case right there. Yeah, and I, I I agree. That's that's kind of my thoughts. Is is you know some kind of camera based navigation or mm -hmm. using it for that type of thing is the only thing I can see for someone who is totally or profoundly visually impaired because mm -hmm. it's a very visual machine. Yeah. No yeah. getting around yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. It's right yeah. in the name. I... <laughs> right. Yep. Not the Apple complete... blind, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I completely agree. And one thing that I didn't mention earlier that I just want to touch on really quick is explore mode. Mm. So, you know, when you're using your iPhone, mm -hmm. you know where the screen is. Mm. You know where the edges are. Mm -hmm. You know exactly where to start. You're not going to accidentally start gesturing mm. on like the table, right? Mm -hmm. Or like the air. Never say never, Carrie. I've had some clients <laughs> who have done that, so. <laughs> <laughs> OK, OK. <laughs> You're unlikely. But with the Apple Vision Pro, it, it's hard uh, to, there's like a way that you can do like the touch and drag or explore by touch, right? Mm -hmm. It's called explore mode. So you pinch your fingers together, and then you move your head around, and you can explore the window. Mm. It doesn't always work, and there's like lag of like when it tells you you're off of the window, mm -hmm. and so that's like really hard. Imagine if you know you couldn't feel where your screen ended on the phone, and it's just like if you can't see it, mm -hmm. and it, you don't have enough feedback of like to be able to use sure. it really efficiently. Yeah, and that's like, an interesting point. That's like point, one yeah. of the biggest things that I use on the iPhone. It's like just touch. I know where it is, even if I'm not looking at it. Mm -hmm. I know generally where it is, and mm -hmm. I just move my finger there, mm -hmm. and it's faster. Yeah, no, that's a great you point. You lose all, yeah, good point. Uh, I mean, the iPhone, uh, uh, although there are no tactile buttons, it is still a tactile device. Oh, yeah. Your finger yeah. is mm -hmm. interacting mm -hmm. with, a, with a physical thing, yes. a screen. Mm -hmm. 
With the Apple Vision Pro, you you really are losing all. There is no tactile at all. You're doing everything in space. And I'm mm -hmm. I'm curious. We, you know, we see clients who struggle performing gestures on a touch surface because of uh, um, spatial concepts and having you know an issue of kind of knowing where the boundaries are. Mm -hmm. You know, same with the swipe gesture. We'll see a lot where people, you know, uh, are touching the screen first to find it and then doing a swipe. I'm, you know, I got to assume it can be even challenging too for people to get a good idea of where your hand is yeah, in relation to make sure it's in the right mm -hmm. spot. Yeah, if you can't the see gesture, your hand, yeah. then uh, Jonathan you know. uh, from the chat here, please. So, um, what? Uh, it seems like a lot of people in the comments are a bit upset in terms of like the eye tracking thing is, mm. is troublesome. Mm, interesting. Um, it's it's causing voiceover problems because mm -hmm. they see that it sort of doesn't overload if you're just sort of looking around. Okay. Um, but uh, specifically, I wanted to uh, bring up a comment by a uh, barbell, mm -hmm. um, and they say that uh, the Meta goggles even have a magnifier, even if it doesn't. Oh, you're kidding! Oh, come on. So, so I guess maybe that's a springboard into. Um, what is the Apple Vision Pro really competing against? Is mm. anyone else even trying in this yeah. in this way? Let's uh, before we do uh, before we do that, and I do want to talk about that. But before we do that, I quick question: um, Is there a camera app on the Vision Pro? Kind of. Okay, so please elaborate. Just all those three D <laughs> pictures and stuff. That was a whole big. Okay, but can you sorta... just open a camera and see? Like, can you, if you're, if it's doing the pass through, can you zoom in with the camera app? You understand what right. I'm saying? You... It's not an app in that way. Mm. The pass through is basically the camera. It's always on, okay. right? And then you okay. can always take pictures of okay. whatever so, you're so seeing. So in, in the pass through, you can take pictures, but you can't zoom in no. or anything like that. So, right. I mean, I, I'm just wondering whether, obviously with the iPhone camera, the iPhone camera is designed to have some zoom to it. And so it kind of makes sense then with the magnifier app can utilize that existing functionality. But if the Vision Pro camera has not been designed to actually do any zoom, then that's probably why the magnifier app isn't there. Because I assume when you start zooming in, the image quality just gets horrible because it's not designed for purpose. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, except well, the I iPhone mean, doesn't have optical zoom. zoom either, though. Not optical, I mean, digital, but they obviously right? yeah, but they obviously have well-made digital zoom. You know, so, yeah, I would have. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I'm just if they thinking. They wanted to. They could have made it. Well, they could have done. But sure. I wonder. I yeah, wonder Luke. if it's a. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wonder if it's a limitation, a physical limitation of the camera that they're using, and they should be using a different camera. That is my only no. question. Like, what resolution is the camera that's doing the pass through? You know what I'm saying? Like. No. Yeah, it's got to be pretty good now. No, now, I it's, think. it's. Yeah, who knows? Very good cameras, and they could have done software. So why didn't they? Then it makes no sense. Because they thought, no sense. when they sat down, they said, "You know what? Technic Live is struggling to find <laughs> topics. So let's release." Give them something to complain <laughs> about. No yeah. magnification. <laughs> now, I, again, I think it just it frustrates me. It seems like such. I know, uh, but but I mean, I, I I agree with you, and yeah. I guess I, I was going to say I compare it to older iPhones, but that's not fair to do because older iPhones didn't have. The technology. That, yeah, the yeah. technology yeah. is there yeah. now. It's mm -hmm. in, you know, I'm guessing the Vision OS is based off of iOS, so it had, it, you know, it, it was a choice. I think it's a choice not to put it in versus that a limitation. That seems like such a bizarre choice, though. Well, uh, it, you know. I would like you to email accessibility at apple.com. I'm not even sure if that's the <laughs> email. Tim.cook at apple.com? It's, uh, Tim, it's Timmy. Timmy, Timmy Cook. Timmy Cook, Timmy Timmy cook. cook at <laughs> apple.com. <laughs> yeah, Timmy C. <laughs> And ask him why you can't do it. If it's Say, not, I'm driving if, around right now and I can't see anything. <laughs> I need to be able to magnify. <laughs> if it's not, if it's not a physical limitation of the camera they're using, I just it just makes no sense to me. But anyway, let's not uh, dwell on that. Uh, let's go back to the question: What are Apple competing with? Are they? Because we, I mean, we're obviously talking Whoa. about them yeah. from an accessibility point of view. But on the market, we have a number of VR headsets already. We have some AR headsets as well. What? What uh, what's Apple doing? What's the point? Anybody? I don't think they're competing. I, I think the Apple Vision Pro is. I don't know that they have any competition right now. The Meta Quest Two or whatever the Meta is doing. Three. A uh, three. Yeah. Sorry. Thank you. I, I, I think that yeah. that's gaming. I mean, that is their right. That is their bread and butter. That is their focus. You can is, watch TV is, and stuff. Yeah, it does, and it, yeah. it does do a lot of the same things. Mm -hmm. I mean, you okay. can pin, yes, especially with mm -hmm. the late, with some of the latest updates, you can mm -hmm. pin windows, you can do a virtual desktop. Nice, it's nice. not as fluid, it's not as interactive mm -hmm. as 
the Vision Pro, but sure. you can do, I'd, I'd say, like, 75, 80% of what you can do on the Vision Pro, you can do on the Mac. Is there a screen reader built in? Is there, is there an Android no. screen no. reader? Okay. No. no. Okay. Terrible Is there a magnifier, though? It sounded like somebody said that you can Someone zoom. Someone said that, yeah, I'm not yeah. sure. I think it's a magnifier. Did they mean magnifier in the sense, like, a camera magnifier? Yeah, so if, like if, like in the comments, if you, could, if you could clarify, do you mean you can zoom while looking through the camera, or did you mean you can zoom in on the digital image that's yeah. in front of you? The actual quote. The, um, the quote, so yeah. The yeah. quote is, mm. uh, the Meta goggles have a magnifier. Okay, that doesn't really elucidate. it elusive. doesn't oh. magnify much. So that, I... Yeah. I actually did a full review of the Quest 2, okay. and um, it never saw the light of day because I, I just didn't finish it, but because I was I was so frustrated with it. Yeah. Um, so I am one of these that in a virtual world, looking through a, the virtual camera, I can actually see a lot better than I can in real life. Mm. Like it takes away a lot of aspects of my vision loss. Mm -hmm. So when I'm walking around in a vir virtual world, it's amazing, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's quite an experience. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, the menus are not accessible at oh, all, so on. I can't get into that virtual sure. world in the first mm -hmm. place. Mm -hmm. And in my opinion, you failed already. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. that's just great. Yeah, yeah. Sure. It's, so yeah. they have made some improvements with the three and, mm -hmm. and some updates, but I still think it's kind of similar. Like, you know, like, like Carrie was talking about, there's this, you can make these windows and the menus and stuff in front of you, but mm -hmm. you, tw you want to get close and look at it, but yeah. you get to mm -hmm. a certain point where you, it just disappears. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's, it's yeah. so it's super frustrating. Yeah, yeah. So, so I'm curious. For, to, oh, go ahead, Carrie. Go. No, I just was gonna say we need to go email Zuckerberg too. I was gonna say oh, yeah, Ma Marky Z at <laughs> Facebook.com. Right? Oh no, Meta. Sorry, Marky Z at Meta.com. <laughs> That's who you want. I'll text them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's our time check? Because I have. Uh, we are out of time. <laughs> well, I, so real quick then yeah. to wrap it up, I, yeah. I'd like us. Let's go around the horn really quick. What do we hope? to see in a future Apple Vision Pro? Maybe it's not gonna be the next generation, but what do you think it needs to do in order for yourself and potentially the low vision slash blind community to benefit from this device? What, what does it need to add? Carry your first. <laughs> Beat me to the point. I was gonna say that. <laughs> I'll go first if you don't want to, I'll go first. No, go ahead, go ahead. Um, so ultimately, I. I'm like you, Corey. I cannot see where it's going to be beneficial for someone who is totally blind ever. Mm -hmm. I just, it's just too much of a visual machine. Um, but for low vision, it's got to have a ability to, to magnify something, magnify mm -hmm. the pass through, magnify something, um, first and foremost. And then they've got to fix the, the, you know, the quirky voiceover issues. And, sure. but above all, they got to bring that price down. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. that sounds good. Mm -hmm. Carrie, what about you? Definitely the price down uh, and everything that Sam said. Plus, I think that uh, opening the camera API mm -hmm. uh, to all those apps, I think that if the price was lower and it was more comfortable and um, if you could use Be My Eyes and Seeing AI yeah. and every other app, mm -hmm. that there could be a case for using it mm -hmm. uh, if you're totally okay. blind. Yeah. Maybe. No, Maybe. Like you it. consider it. Sure. And, and just to add one more thing. Yeah. I, like we said at the beginning, I think it will do all of this. I think all of this mm -hmm. will be will happen yeah. eventually. Yeah. Like this is just Gen One, you know, first month or whatever of Gen One. I think the hardware is there, so the potential yeah. is there. So eventually it, it will yeah. be. It's similar to the Apple Watch when they released it; they didn't know exactly what it was going to be until yeah. they realized it was really a big health and so, fitness type so. thing, and then that's sort of the focus. But yeah. 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 what? Is, so Luke, what? Are, what? Are, any thoughts? Uh, I definitely won't speak for the low vision or yeah. blindness community because I am sighted. <laughs> but uh, from my personal perspective, yeah. what I would like to see in it is uh, I would love to see. Uh, the Magnifier app with all of its functionality, including the ability to save different scenes, different color modes, adjusting contrast, adjusting brightness, all of that stuff. Yeah. Um, I would love to see all of that. Um, and yeah, integration. I mean, it's the same stuff that uh, that's, okay. uh, that uh, has already been said. Yeah, the uh, integration with the different uh, apps, um, you know, the, for blind sure. vision. Yeah. Also, yeah. I mean, I haven't tried it on, but just the materials that they're making it out of. I mean, obviously they're going for the premium feel, but you've got to imagine that that's adding quite a lot of weight. So you can uh, you can imagine they must be able to cut down uh, the weight yeah. uh, quite a bit. Um, but uh, yeah. yeah. I, I'm gonna go maybe bigger 
like Ooh, five years down the line. Okay. To, you know, I, and I think this is more of thinking how I would use the device and where I'd actually see a benefit. Mm. Uh, obviously, I agree 100% with what all, all three of you said, price and the magnification, all that, no question. But I would love to see where we have, where we can take like Be My AI or just AI in general mm. and take it to the next level where I can wear it as I'm walking around and it's doing real time sort of yeah. um, real time, you know, description. I'm walking down the airport and I look to the right and it says Starbucks. Um, my ability then to ask follow up questions, right? Mm. Where, where where does the beginning of the line start? To my left or to my right? Where, I think your know, real question would be, the, why are you telling me where Starbucks is when I don't drink coffee? Yeah, well, that's <laughs> it. But you know, looking at a, a, a looking at a table in front of me and saying, you know, and it telling me there's an open seat mm. uh, around to your left. You know, th to me, that's where I, and yes, you could do that with a phone and holding it well, up. Well, quick question that, there, Chloe, because mm -hmm. like why, if that technology is available, it won't only be available by Apple, presumably. So sure. then why would you choose the Vision Pro over any other, you know, headset that could do that, for example? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I think if you, you know, if I already use an iPhone, I mean, okay. I guess I couldn't answer that. I mean, yeah. if another device came, did, was able to do that at the price point and everything else, then no, yeah. it wouldn't have to be Apple mm. to do it. But I, I guess I'm awesome. just kind of thinking what I would want to see Apple Vision. How, how would, is Apple's AI tech at the moment? I don't know. Google, have have, have Google you used Siri anymore. lately? Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah. All right, uh, from the chat, and then we've got to finish up here. Yeah. So it seems that Corey has precognitioned uh, the comment here because uh -huh. it's about Siri. Um, oh. They wanted to know um, without voiceover while you're using uh, uh, the Apple Vision Pro, yeah. can you just ask Siri to speak screen? Can you, can you use Siri uh, in any new ways uh, with the Apple Vision Pro? Guys? I didn't see anything new okay. necessarily. Mm -hmm. okay. um, that doesn't yeah. surprise me. Okay. Siri's dead. Let's face it. Oof. I can't oh, do that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You can open accessibility settings. <laughs> working on it. Oh, God. Whenever you hear working on it, you, you know, know it's failed. Like, it's just, over. Don't, just stop working on it. You're, you're eventually going to make me wait 30 seconds and then go, I'm sorry, I couldn't oh, do that. Oh, poor Siri. <laughs> All right, uh, it's time to wrap it up. Thank you so much, guys. Had a really nice chat here. It's been fantastic, as always. And uh, Sam, where can people find you? Uh, theblindlife.net mm -hmm. or just Google The Blind Life, you'll find me there. And check out my podcast, the new podcast, The Blind Life Podcast. Awesome. And do you have uh, any new videos coming up that you'd like to give us a, a bit of a titillation about? Yeah, my full my full uh, coverage of CSUN will be up, hopefully, fingers crossed, if everything goes well, this Saturday. Excellent. And then um, I'm doing featuring the new Iris Vision Live 2.0, oh, which um, you guys, I think, have already covered. Yeah, we and, did. Video, um, yeah. Yeah, uh, some some cool things after that. Cool, awesome. And, Stay tuned. Uh, did, and your, did your external mics work in CSUN? I was going to say Sam's <laughs> audio will be a lot better than ours for his <laughs> CSUN video. Audio, my audio was crispy. <laughs> <laughs> Our, ours was crunchy. Ours was burnt. <laughs> yeah. Ours was burnt. Uh, Carrie, uh, how about you? Where can people find you? You can find me in carryonaccessibility.com or just search for Carrie on Accessibility on YouTube All or right. Google. Excellent. You should be able to find me there too. And uh, any, uh, any new videos coming yeah. up? Sorry, Corey. No, I was going to ask the same mm -hmm. thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I have one, um, some updates from Seeing AI mm -hmm. and uh, Access AI from Ira, okay. uh, which is more AI stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm also working on one that's kind of like what Corey is saying or wants to be. Uh, it's called the Celeste Glasses. I'm working Ooh, on a video yeah, yeah, about yeah, that. Nice. And cool. yeah. All right. Good awesome. stuff. And where can people find us, Corey? They can find us right in front of their faces. In front of their faces. And that would be youtube.com forward slash vision forward tech connect. I would hope you know that because you're there watching. You right are. Now. But you can also check out our podcast if you search for vision forward tech connect. Mm. You'll find it. And then don't forget about our uh, learning platform, we uh, techconnect.vision-forward.org. Mm -hmm. You can go there and check out some of our webinars and get free on-demand ACV, ACVREP credits if you're a professional in the field and want credit. Even if you're not a professional and you just want credit to say, hey, <laughs> I got credit, we will be happy to give it to you because they are free and on-demand. Indeed they are. Do we get credit? Hey. Uh, yeah, sure. If, if you if if you are a credit. if you are a caddis or any other, I feel uh, like you're raising the bar now, Corey. You do get credit for your presentation. Indeed, today, you so. do. Indeed, you do. Yeah. <laughs> All right. With that being said, thanks again, guys, and uh, we look forward to seeing everybody on the show in two weeks' time.
See Thanks, you. everybody. Bye. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thanks for joining us for another Tech Connect Live. If you enjoyed Corey and Luke's antics, be sure to join us next time. For all things Tech Connect, go to vision-forward.org slash techconnect.